Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today we're going to do another Babble With Me episode. And I thought I would do it on um, just like random things about me. One thing is like maybe like talk about my touch of fame, which sounds a bit weird, but I'm not really like I've never been famous or whatever, but it's just like a bit of like weird things that I may have done when I was younger, just like to be famous or get some notoriety. So I thought it would just be a random video just to, you know, talk about me because we're all narcissists on here on YouTube. So that's what I thought I'd do. And if just, yeah, keep on watching. Sorry about this first uh, clip that I have. It's uh, filmed the wrong way. But anyway, uh, that then there's more video that's up the right way. But anyway, so I wanted to discuss more so like things that I've done that are could be considered like interesting or like you know famous or you know things like that. So I think where I wanted to start with was uh, just like start off small and then go up to like the highest point. So my first point would be that I was, um, when I was younger, uh, I actually like auditioned for um, Australia's Got Talent because like they had a low um, age to get in. I was about 15 at the time and I think X Factor was still about 16 and I was like, yeah, I'm going to audition for that. And I sung Winner Takes It All by ABBA, <laughs> you know, such a jam and I stuffed up I could barely get to the chorus so that was fun you know just like being embarrassed in front of like a crowd and judges so that was fun it wasn't like the actual like auditions it was just like in front of a producer with like a couple of people in the crowd like but it was still like nerve-wracking because it was like the first time I saw on stage so that was fun and fresh anyway on to my second point I actually um I went to Japan on exchange and they uh, did a um, they did like a segment on their news show about like you know kids from this town in Australia were gonna come uh, come in like and you know be students for a little bit and like filmed what we did that day and there was like a couple of, I found the clip of it and it's kind of funny I thought I should probably I might actually show a couple of clips because I found it. I've cut some bits out, so hopefully it's just me. But here are like two clips I thought were really funny. The first clip was a f just like we had to like hit the um like the people dressed up in like all their gear and stuff like that on their head with like these like bamboo swords it was just so weird because yeah, it was like oh, we have to hit them and they're, like they'd get up you if like you didn't hit them hard enough they're like yeah harder <laughs> I'm like oh no I don't want to hit you in the head with a freaking bamboo sword or stick whatever it was anyway and the second clip was me trying to talk Japanese and I do not even remember what I said I think it was something I don't think it was like I had a good day but yeah it was like I struggled obviously to say it on TV so if anyone can like translate that that'd be that would be fine but I should probably try translating it myself one day anyway that I thought that was just kind of funny anyway <laughs> um, and yeah that was that was a fun experience and there's like a really nice photo of me actually like behind the camera like with the camera like in the photo I don't know where it is but oh uh, it was it's a good it's a nice photo and everyone was like oh you look so natural behind the camera and I'm like nope I was scared I was terrified all the things anyway um I um yeah it, it, it was a good experience Japan anyway to say the very least so the final thing I want to talk about is something that I hold very high and dear to me or yeah, well not dear but it's just something that I like lay at night and think oh my god like what the hell anyway um so 
when year the X Factor had a contestant on there that was from the area that I was growing up, like I grew up in and was in at the time. And anyway, he made it to the um, to the uh, last three, which means that they go to hometowns. And so that meant that we, he had a concert like in the town like that week and it was just a weird, ex it was a weird, surreal experience. Like, oh my god, like a guy from The X Factor is going to be coming to Dubbo. Like, what? Anyway, so, um, me, my sister, my mom, and, uh, t and two other people we, we knew, they, we all lined up and we were, like, pretty much, like, first in line. So we got, um, so we got front row seats and um yeah there's i yeah it was a good show i can't find the clip because i'm pretty sure uh where i found the clip uh i'm pretty sure the people who sung the person who sung the song or the company behind the song had copyright claimed it and blocked it so I can't download the video because of that, which is kind of shitty, so I can't have that memory. But I was, um, they, at the end of the concert, we had, uh, I was stopped to say something about this, about it. And I remember this so vividly because I got teased about this. Well, not teased, but like people had a joke and I laughed at it too because it was kind of funny. And they're like, Oh, just say something like, like how how did you think the show? And I had the microphone in my hand, and I just say, it was really, it was amazing. It was like wow. That is literally what I said, like exactly what I said, <laughs> on national TV, and everyone saw it. And that was the worst thing ever. <laughs> it wasn't the worst. It's just something I can look back on now and like. Yet, yeah, not saying that ever again on TV. Uh, but uh, it was really cool. Like, we also got to, I got to see Mel B. I ended up being on her Instagram, which, yeah, I'll, I'll put a photo up of it now. So, as you can see, I had to heavily edit this photo before I posted it onto my uh, Instagram. So, it has an arrow there pointing to uh, where I am in the photo because obviously I had to show where I was but yeah that was on her Instagram and I was it was like a very proud moment of mine I was very happy with myself that I ended up in Mel B's photo and I ended up getting this really like uh, like this photo of the contestant um like doing like it's not like sultry eyes but it looks like a kind of into like the, uh, into like my phone camera and I yeah, I, I don't know what to think of it, but I'll I'll have to show the show the video. I mean, not the video, the photo. As you can see, uh, fifteen year old Emily was highly like, highly like, obsessed crying over this. <laughs> but it it's just a funny thing to think back on, and like all these experiences that you have as like a child, and like, you know, like. I don't know, I was like that weird kid that kind of obsessed about, you know, being famous, but at the same time, it was like I hated putting myself out there, so it's like weird to like think back on these like three specific experiences and it's like, wow, like how could, like, how did these things happen to me? Like, I don't understand and I... Like, even though, like, it's a bit embarrassing to look back on, I'm still, like, happy I did these experiences and I had the chance to, you know, you know, be on TV in Japan. Like, who has that experience every day? And, like, you know, be on national TV to say it was amazing. It was, like, wow. In front of, like, the, the whole nation of Australia. Like, I don't think anyone else is staying up, like, thinking about this poor kid that put said this horrible well not horrible but this embarrassing thing on national tv i'm the only one that's doing that but it was it's just fun to think back on anyway i'll leave it back to finishing 
this um, look for well, quote page for uh, Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. my video of me rambling on about different things about fame and things I've done when I was younger anyway if you enjoyed it just um, leave a comment down below like subscribe whatever you want to do don't really care and I will see you next time bye